All right, it's time for everyone's favorite, unknown until now, unprofessional ranter. I read an article on AOL today. Funny article, to be honest. Uh, well, not funny, haha, it's actually tragic. It involves some beating someone's dead and frozen head. Uh, for those of you who don't have AOL, let me go over the article now. Quote, a book comes out next week detailing how workers at the Alcor Life Extension Foundation abused Ted Williams' remains. Ted Williams was an uh, MLB player, according to the article. I didn't know what he was until this. Uh, apparently he was in a war, too. Uh, he was an MLB player. One of his pretty normal departure from the world. Cremated, ashes spread over the seas. Not too much of a request. But his kids decided to make him the joke of the century and freeze him. So this is where this story happens. Like I said, a book comes out next week detailing how it happened. The workers posed for pictures in a real life weekend, or excuse me, in a real life weekend at Bernie's takeoff. They used crude equipment to cut off his head. And then, after they cut off the head, they stuck it in 312 degree liquid nitrogen. They let that soak in for a second. The workers recorded the sound of his brain cracking 16 times as the temperature dropped. Cracking, as in the brain became solid and cracked in pieces. 16 times. The head was balanced on an empty can of bumblebee tuna to keep it from sticking to the bottom of the case. A worker later removed the head and tried to dislodge the tuna can by swinging at it with a monkey wrench. Okay, good thinking. After missing the can a few times, he smacked Williams' head, sending tiny pieces of frozen tissue around the room. Unquote. Number one, I'm going to ask you guys a question. Which do you think is worse? The fact that this happened, or the fact that... There's a brand name in the story. That says two things to me. One, Bumblebee Tuna is unaware their name is in the story. Two, Bumblebee Tuna is okay with their name in this story involving the horrific death and mistreatment of a man's frozen head. God forbid they paid to have their name in the story. So I'm just going to ask everyone out there, which is worse? The fact that the name is in there, or the fact that the name is still in there, and it has not been removed by the company because they disagree with the article? I'll let you guys mill over that one for a few minutes.